right, well, we just stopped and got some gas. Headed out to do a little bit of hog hunting tonight out in an area that's not open too awfully much. But we're gonna see if we can't get it done tonight. It's about almost 80 degrees out, so it's gonna be a little warm. Um, it was definitely a lot hotter earlier, but the rain came through a little bit, kind of cooled everything down, so hopefully them hogs will be up and moving. So we're gonna give her a shot. We're gonna try out that new one stick out and get it out actually in the woods and get hunting. Uh, pretty excited to give her a try. But we'll see what happens tonight. Hopefully we're able to put something on the ground, bringing the gun out with me, the old uh, 300 blackout, see if we can't get anything to, uh, to come in. So let's see if we can go smoking some, uh, some hogs. kind of just wanted to uh, go over my setup here before I headed out but it's gonna be a pretty cool year this year I think with a few changes that I've made to the the one sticking um, for getting up in the tree and I've also like you can see behind me um, transitioned to using a mountain bike to get in uh, deeper so I don't have to walk and so I don't have to get nearly as hot getting in there especially for the evening sits and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot quieter to getting in there just the constant sound so hopefully we'll be able to get in deeper quieter and uh, be a little bit more stealthy getting in for the deer hunts but we're going to test out this gear tonight and hopefully uh, hopefully it works out so I'm pretty excited to give this a shot so next time we see it hopefully we'll be in a tree or uh, maybe even a hog down on the way to the tree so you never know all right, well, got down to as far as I want to go down this trail with the bike, which is probably about three quarters of a mile away from where I parked. I made it here in probably under four or five minutes. Uh, I did learn that mountain bikes are not very great in deep sand, hence why I originally wanted a fat tire bike, but just kind of doing this as a test anyway so it's actually good that I had a really bad trail to come down so I can try to war game and figure out what trails I actually want to take the bike on it was fairly quiet yeah I'm definitely not nearly as tired or hot and sweaty as I would be in it. I mean after it rained it the humidity just skyrocketed so it's all tore up down here by hogs so hopefully, uh, actually right where I parked my bike is all tore up too. But hopefully that means they're still in the area. But the bugs are getting terrible again. I kind of feared that'd be the case down here. Down near the swamps in Georgia. Middle of the summer. Goes without saying, so hopefully we can get something on the ground and make this a good night. Alright, well we finally got set up. It's, uh, it's almost 7 o'clock right now. It's so humid out. That little bit of rain just killed it now. It took me a while to find a good spot, but I'm actually sitting over a little water hole right here, and it's just tore up, wallers everywhere. I mean, it, there's just a ring of tracks going all the way around it. There's multiple points of entry to it, too. Um, coming from the west, and coming from the one coming from the east it looks like they've been exiting towards where i where i'm set up right here on this side the south side of this it's pretty calm night now there's no wind which makes it even worse because now i'm sweating even worse it's just so still out here i was uh i'm only i don't even think i'm 15 feet off the ground right here but the water holes 
down a little lower, but I'm right up in the canopy, and they really shouldn't see me if they're down at the water and hole from where it looks like they come in from, so if they come from my right over here behind my shoulder, they shouldn't see me at all. Like I said, I'm right up in the canopy, lots of cover right here and concealment to my right, and uh, it looks real fresh down here, so hopefully right before dark, they'll come in, hit the water, and they'll, uh, hopefully in a little bit, they'll come hit it. I've got the uh, 300 blackout, like I was saying, I got that out here. Hopefully we'll be able to smoke a couple of the, if more than one come in, but we shall see. Just had three pretty nice velvet bugs to come under me. One was probably uh, a three and a half year old. <clears throat> Looked like he was gonna be an eight or nine point. Real solid. He walked right up under my tree. Once he got to the side that I started climbing up, he stopped and he instantly smelled my ground scent. But man, that was awesome. He, he didn't seem too spooked. Uh, the other two had no idea what was going on, so they just turned around and walked away with him. But man, that's awesome. I think I can still hear him behind me. Pretty sure they just wanted to come in to get some water. Obviously. Man, that was so cool. Like 
I said I'm only like 12 feet off the ground. And, uh, that was just awesome. He was right under me. I couldn't even get the camera down. He was straight under me. He, he doesn't really know what's going on. He just obviously didn't like the smell. So, they left, got out of here, and, uh, hopefully they come back during early season. I think I'm going to give this spot a shot. This spot, like I said, can't get on it a whole lot. It's not open a lot of times, and, uh, so these bugs can't get hunted. So, I'm gonna stay out of this area after tonight. Let it cool back down. Let my scent wash away. And I'm gonna come sit over this hole. This is perfect. It's a nice little watering hole that uh, hopefully the deer will frequent once the season actually starts. But, it's just an awesome experience getting to see what you love up close. So, this stuff excites me. Gets me pumped. It's June. June 26th. That means there's less than three months until the season opens. So, man. He's pretty good size. I'm, I'm willing to bet he's about a little over halfway done growing. He's going to be a nice one. So, hopefully we'll be able to meet him again come September 11th. Right now, I wouldn't mind their uh, hog showing up. It'd be pretty nice, but if he doesn't, I don't mind this being the only uh, the only action I get tonight. That's freaking cool. Who knows? We got plenty of time left. It's uh, it's just before eight o'clock, so it gives us about 45 minutes to an hour left to hunt. Hopefully, something walks in. Well, I had all come in right at last light. Fortunately, it came in from my offhand, and uh, by the time I tried to swing around, and she was right under me, and she must have smelled me, so she turned around, went right back, and she came in. But <sighs> oh well, it's what it is. At least we got to see a few things tonight. Ended up being not too bad of a sit, so we'll give her another shot again, uh, probably in a few weeks, a couple weeks. Try to get out and get us a hog, so we'll be back. Hopefully next time it's a better, better ending. <laughs>